Uh, let's talk about the relative roles of Congress versus uh, the Department of Justice. Uh, wouldn't you agree that uh, uh, even if criminal prosecutions are jeopardized, uh, that it is more important as acknowledged by the uh, courts that uh, Congress have primacy to proceed as Congress ultimately concludes the public interest requires? I would hope, Senator, to not have to pick between the two. I would hope to be able to try to work with Congress such that Congress could perform its oversight missions and criminal prosecutions, if they were there to be made, could be preserved. Well, Judge Phillip, I agree with you totally. And when we're looking toward congressional inquiries uh, into the destruction of the CIA tapes, uh, we're looking at broader matters than simply the prosecutions. Uh, we're, we're looking at the appropriate range of interrogation tactics. Uh, now the House of Representatives has passed legislation saying that the CIA should be bound by the Army Field Manual. And we have questions as to uh, the Geneva Convention. Uh, and we have questions as to congressional legislation on whether habeas corpus, as the statutory part of habeas corpus, not constitutional, uh, ought to be revised. Now, those are issues of greater breadth and greater depth uh, than the criminal prosecution against someone who may have destroyed the tapes. Now, it is my hope that we can work out an accommodation and uh, that uh, uh, the conversation I had yesterday with Attorney General Mukasey will be the beginning. And he referenced that he was going to have his deputies call uh, my assistance. And I, and I hope we can uh, work it out. And if the Department of Justice has some witness that uh, the Department thinks should not be called in a public hearing, uh, we'd give great deference to that, probably would agree with it. But if it comes to a conflict and you have to make a choice, uh, is there any doubt that the broader issues that we're facing, which I've enumerated for you, whether we're going to bind the CIA to the uh, Army Field Manual, uh, uh, what we're going to do on interrogation practices generally, how we're going to deal with our Geneva Convention obligations, international matters, all beyond the scope of the Department of Justice, uh, if you have to choose, doesn't congressional primacy uh, uh, prevail? So I think you and I very, very much share the view that Congress has broad oversight authority, and we very much share the view that hopefully that broad oversight authority can be accommodated while at the same time not jeopardizing criminal prosecutions. As to picking between the two of them, I would work very hard to try to find common ground. Do you, do you consider waterboarding torture? I consider waterboarding to be repugnant. The Attorney General of the United States is presently reviewing that legal question. He determined that he wanted to have uh, access to the classified information and memos about it. I don't think I can or anyone who could be potentially considered for his deputy could get out in front of him on that question while it's under review. But I will tell you that if I'm confirmed at a time such that that review is ongoing or he otherwise sought my advice on it, um, I would view it like any other legal question and take a long, hard look at it. And if I've had a view on it different from his, I would tell him so. I must say everyone is familiar with the challenges that were out there for the Mr. McKay when he refused to give an answer on that. And uh, we would thought that you'd be able to give a, a response.